But uh, yeah, this is the level of education we now need to give ourselves to understand, okay, so if I want to run this model and I want to run on this context window or this context length, this is the hardware that I'm going to need. And if we don't start doing that now, then, you know, we're going to be screwed. That's technically become a drop-in replacement for the drop-in replacement, if that makes sense. If I've misinterpreted that, then please, please do correct me in the comments. Be so that's, that's really cool. And I mean, if this is the beginning of us having to build our own engines now that can power AI models, then that's, that can kind of change the game. We might even see companies like OpenAI popping up now because they can just create their own proprietary engines that are running off the Harmony Response Format backend. And that's something that OpenAI has just given up to us for free. So I guess kudos to them, man. Like, you know, they have been, they have been charging us a lot of money so far and, and, and doing some stuff and everyone has kind of been, you know, hating on them a little bit. But I would like to give them some respect. They have actually saved us here a little bit. What is going on here? Okay, so I don't know. It's very convenient that this happened on the day that GPT OSS released as well. Alama quietly released this, Turbo. What this does is it allows you to connect to data centers. Or well, data center grade hardware is what they say, but it's most likely a data center. And this is for use in the event of you have a laptop, you have a Raspberry Pi, something that's very low power, and you want to use the best of the best models. Of course you do. Why would you not want to? Rather than signing up to Open Router, getting an API key, and then seeing, oh my gosh, okay, right. I have to spend this much for input and this much for getting output. Um, instead of doing that nonsense, you just pay 20 bucks a month. You get, I'm not going to say unlimited usage, but you do get as much usage as you like. Okay, as much usage as you like. There is a fair use policy. Right. So they include hourly and daily limits to avoid capacity issues, but they will be bringing in uses based pricing eventually. So I think while we can take advantage of this, I would suggest do it, to be honest, like I already signed up 20 bucks a month. It's really not that much in the grand scheme of things for like, you know, the best of the best model usage offline. And it technically it is still offline. Yes, it's yes, you're connecting to a data center and whatever, but they have explicitly said that they do not retain your data to ensure privacy and security. And look. If a company like Olama is saying that, I can trust that because it is a fantastic organization. And if it wasn't for them, you know, the whole revolution of open source AI probably wouldn't even exist right now.